All righty, guys, for the plaintiff, Ms. Potter, witness for the de regular defense, Mr. Baker, and since it's a depot in the court's chair, is defense, Mr. Fisher. We're gonna do some little one minute takes at two and a quarter. We're not gonna stop, stop in between. We're just going to pause, let you catch your breath and do another minute. So minute at a time at two and a quarter. Every, uh, we'll stop at nine and stop at 18 and so on and so forth. Okay. So okay. here we go. Ready, begin. The record should reflect that we are here today to take the deposition of Karen Wilson. Let's state appearances, please. Thank you, Stephen Baker, for the defendant, Ron Johnson. My client is not present. Dan Fisher for the defendant, Target. Thank you, and I am Susan Potter for the plaintiff, Margaret Peterson. The record should reflect my client is present today. Is there something that you want to put on the record before we get started with the witnesses? Yes, ma'am, thank you. I just would like to stip with all counsel that the witness has been given an instruction sheet of some kind which states the rules that we are to all abide by for the purposes of today's depot. Yes, it is an advisement that I always provide to witnesses who come to my office for deposition. I will so stipulate that Ms. Wilson has been provided with that. That's fine. It is just a preamble that lets the witness know what to expect and what the procedures are. Yes, I agree. Okay, Ms. Wilson, do you have any questions before we begin? I don't believe so. Thank you. Well, let's get started. The witness has been sworn. Ms. Wilson, my name is Stephen Baker. I represent Mr. Ron Johnson, a defendant named in this lawsuit. All right, next minute. Ready? On August 15, 2009, were you shopping at the Target store near your residence? Yes, I was. Do you remember what day of the week that was by any chance? No, not really. I have a calendar in my handbag that I could check. No, oh, that's all right. We just want your best memory today. Okay. Let me begin by asking you, Ms. Wilson, are you currently employed at the present time? Absolutely. And were you employed back in August of 2009? Yes, I was. Where are you employed, ma'am? Currently, I volunteer at the preschool at my church. Okay, is that where you were employed last year as well? No, last year I was working out of my home. I only started at the preschool this summer. All right, what exactly do you do at the preschool? I'm a classroom helper. Basically, I am there to help the teacher with the students and to assist in any way possible. Okay, is this a paid position you have now? Yes, sir. My grandchildren also attend that preschool. Ms. Wilson, you testified last year that you were employed out of your residence for some period of time. What exactly were you doing for employment? I used to watch some neighborhood children out of my home. The children I was caring for moved away earlier this year. All right, next minute. Ready? These weren't your grandchildren then? They were some neighborhood children. Their parents are close friends of ours. I would watch them in the morning, take them to school, and then pick them up in the afternoons. Their parents worked, so I was helping. I see. Now back to August of 2009 on the day that you were shopping at Target. Do you actually remember that particular day, August 15? Yes, I do. I remember it very well. What time of day did you go to Target? I believe it was about 9 o'clock in the morning. Were you shopping for anything in particular? I was shopping for a birthday gift for a friend of mine. I also needed to pick up some household supplies, cleaning supplies. Now, thinking back, do you happen to remember which part of the store you started your shopping in or where you first went upon entering? Well, I usually just go straight when I enter the store and begin making my rounds. Is it true even if you have a list with specific items that you were shopping for? Yes, that's correct. It is just habit. During your shopping trip, when did you initially observe the plaintiff that day? I came around the corner and saw her laying on the ground. Alrighty, next minute. Okay. Ready? Did you notice whether she was alone on the ground? I didn't notice anyone else laying on the ground. There were plenty of people around her, but she was the only one laying on the ground. Please describe what you observed when you came around the corner. I heard some crying, and that's what got my attention at first. Did you overhear the crying before you saw someone laying on the ground? Absolutely. I heard the crying. It got louder. Sounded like someone was getting upset. What happened then? As I rounded the corner, the woman was laying on the ground. There was an employee trying to help her get up. How many people were around the woman when you arrived? Ten people. How many were employees versus shoppers? I think it was half and half. Did you observe any major equipment in the area surrounding where everyone was gathered around? There was a very large basket they have to stock the store. It is similar to a pallet that they put merchandise on and wheel it out to set up the displays. Anything else? There was also a floor sweeper. I don't know if it was a vacuum or a buffer. It is the kind of machine that has the handlebars, and you can use it for cleaning the carpet. Am I correct that you didn't see how the woman got on the ground? Yes. 
All right, next minute. Oh, Just we're at 7.30. Oh, well, there